Hi everyone, Darren Hunter here. I'm with Dennis Yusuf. Today we're talking about how to grow your rent roll, how to generate more rent roll leads with your current clients. And just about everyone, Dennis, except for people who are starting off from scratch, should be able to put this into place. And oh my goodness me, haven't we seen some amazing results with some of the rent rolls that we've coached with this particular one? Now, Dennis, Let's just start off with why is this strategy so lucrative? Why is it important? Well, Darren, it's really important that we're turning our clients into customers that are creating customers for us. We want them to be raving fans because building relationships with these people gives us business down the track. We want them to be BDMs for us, Darren. And a lot of owners, Darren, they know other investors as well they and do. they do they're yeah, they're like to fish in the sea. Yeah. yeah they're like fish in the sea but these owners may have multiple properties and if you're not calling them and finding out i guarantee that someone else is educating them of why they should come to them so right. the why is turn them into raving fans they may have other properties but they may also know other owners now look BDMs are, um, uh, this is a really good strategy for a BDM, correct? But they also might hit a bit of a, a wall from the property manager who may not want a BDM to make these phone calls. Dennis, what could be going on here? Oh my goodness, Darren. Well, that's a red flag straight away. If you're the property manager, you say, I don't want Dennis use of calling my clients. A, that's a red flag because you could be hiding something. There might be some issues that are that are rumbling in the background because Darren Hunt has been a little bit slack. So you don't want the BDM calling to say, hello, how are things going? Because they're going to bring things up. But it's better to make these phone calls, build the relationships, turn them into raving fans so you can be proactive and fix it because there's nothing worse with, hey, Dennis, Darren was a good property manager, but I've decided to manage it myself. And if that's the case, go read the self-managed section that we've done, or I've given it to another agency. So we are being proactive in stopping that from occurring. All right. Well, let, let's get into it. Let's get into the four steps. Now, again, Dennis, this is a strategy where we've spent a lot of time, an hour, over an hour on this strategy. You can get that as part of our IGT exclusive membership with our training portal but let's just move on four steps Dennis on how to get rent roll leads from our current clients we've got to pick up the phone so we've got 25 different conversation starters in our in-depth training but if you just want to give us some ways just give us some strategies or what's some of the things that we can be saying when we pick up the phone well the first thing is um simply picking up the phone there's there's actually three different scripts that we can do here darren you know firstly you know it's important that um we pick up the phone and we say hi darren dennis here from igt just giving you a call to say hello i just wanted to check in about your property everything seems to be going really well with michael sands um i just wanted to see if there's anything that you feel we're not doing or something that we are doing that we could be doing better so we actually just simply pick up the phone and ask that question and you listen that's when you're going to get that raw feedback from your current clients now you've got permission to call these people because they're already clients so don't fear picking up that and they phone, already know right? you they already know your brand they're already warm you've got the trust there it's like oh my goodness me i mean how much warmer do we require to pick up the phone it's just a time and a courage thing isn't it they're, they're super hot, right? Because they 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 love us, they like us, they're using us, they trust us. So a lot of people do fear um, making these calls. They worry about it. But the great thing is they already trust us. It gets you into the habit of making these phone calls, and you're adding value to the customer experience. Because most of the time, Darren, they're only getting calls with arrears, maintenance, tenant moving out, a problem. But we want to remove that anxiety from our owners and add great emotion to the relationship. Okay, very quickly, what are some reasons to pick up the phone? What are some classic ones? Uh, well, another classic reason, so are you talking about different types of calls that oh, we can give Conversation them? starters. Yeah, okay, a really good conversation starter is someone's birthday, right? Because you should be documenting their birthday. You should be documenting if their kids are having school, um, end of school terms or um, college degrees that have just happened or university 
weddings or their anniversary with you, you may know that they love going on flights or cruises. So you should be subscribing to cheap flights, cheap cruises. Um, if they're working, if they're an accountant and it's coming to that time of year where you know they're going to get busy, give them a call, wish them luck. You know, if they've got a dog and there's a dog day or a pet day or a sporting event, state versus state, you know, banter with them and become friends with your clients as well. Do you want me to keep going? No, let's move on. But legislation changes is another one. But we've got to move on. So step two um, is building a blueprint plan of regular con contact. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so Darren, it, it like there's 25 different ways of calling them. And I could build the list even more, but you don't want to call them 25 times. So you need to have a minimum three is my saying. Minimum three calls that you should be doing to your owners over a 12 month period. So pick your topic and change it each year because there's that line of expectation that can occur, right? Because after 12 months of you making, let's say three or four calls, Darren, um, next year, they're expecting that birthday call. They're expecting that anniversary call. So change it, change the reasoning so that you're adding that extra layer of emotion and um, you know, uh, customer relationship with them. So you've got to set a plan, put a plan in place. You might do this amongst your team. Every Wednesday, guys, we're calling 15 each. Get pizza in for lunch or something or do it at the end of the day, towards the end of the day and get everyone on board. So make it a regular thing. I think keeping everyone accountable, doing it at the same time as well, driven by management with accountability is certainly going to make this one happen. Okay, step three, Dennis, is really, you know, what what can we be talking about in these conversations? How can we be finding the new business now, the new business opportunities? Yeah, great. So, you know, it's a really good question, Darren. So there's there's building the rapport with them. You're also calling them because you know about the anniversary. So they're feeling really happy and kind. Now they want to reciprocate. They want to do something good back for you. So that's where you can actually say to them. At the end of each call, you, you get into a regular um, conversation. At the end of each call, you need to say to them, hey, if you hear anyone talking about real estate or you hear that they need help, please keep us top of mind. Etc. You may have an incentive for them at that time. We can talk about that in a second. So always close your conversation with your current clients to keep you top of mind, right? And and look also, Darren, do you know anyone else that owns another investment or do you have another investment property that I could help you with? Right? Yeah. So it's asking. Yeah. Darren, can I give another script that can help, you know, another script? Once you've built these relationships with them, and, and you're starting to turn your clients into um, raving fans for you, that's when you can give them a call. It may be the third, the fourth phone call. Hey, Darren, I've just got a favor for you. Over the next 12 months, because I know that you want to help me and you know I'm in charge of, the, of um, educating owners why they should come across and have their property managed by successful companies like ourselves. I just would love you to refer one client to me over the next 12 months. Do you think you'd be able to do that for me? Yeah, for sure. Simply ask it. If you've got 100 managements, that's 100 leads, right? And yeah, not all of them are going to do it. But let's say it's only 50 leads, Darren. Let's say it's only 50 leads and you've got a, if you've got 1,000 properties and 200 leads came in, I'd be a happy little BDM. Right, because they want to identify those leads for you and they're going to want to help you. Mm. And you could then put a follow up in place and say, Yeah, actually, my son's got a property. I'm going to give him a call. No problem, Darren. That's fantastic. I'll call you in a couple of weeks and see how that conversation went because I've got some incentives, right? Or did you know? And Darren, you're the expert in having um, closing the deal, having a uh, uh, an incentive to get someone to sign up right now. So I, I would let's go to step four. Let's talk about offers and promotions. So yep. I guess it's having a promotion ready, isn't it, Dennis? And and a time limited one. What's an example of what um, what what that could be? A mifki? Is that what you're talking about, Dennis? Yeah, the most incredible free gift ever. So what could that be, Dennis? What would typically could you do? Uh, well, Darren, you, you, you want to give them high value, low cost. And if you're catching what your owners love, you know, your, your owners may love going to the movies 
They may love, so, you know, if you've got a, a theatre that's got gold class, all those ones with the beds now, you know, it it's a cheap investment to buy a couple of tickets. That's high value, low cost to your company. If you're bringing in a, a property that's going to bring in $3,000 a year and you're only forking out 100 bucks, 150 bucks, that's great value. You know, so that's a really good incentive. So find out what the high value is and low cost. Don't just offer them one month off. I don't want anything off my fees because I need the tax depreciate. I need the tax incentive for my accountant. I don't want free fees. That's that's not really anything I don't care. It's a high value, low cost. Yeah. So yeah, most incred- incredible free gift ever, the Mifki. Just get creative. You know, what can you add to that? You know, it could be movie tickets. It could be a hamper or something like that. Because something of, of that's real value to the client there. So put your creativity creativity hat on there and give them an offer. But what's important is, hey, look, if you're able to refer us or able to uh, get that property over to us by Friday next week or by the end of the month or something like that, we'll be able to offer you X. Okay. So it's putting a date on. It's really important. Important, all right so just sort of that pressure and that squeeze as well so Dennis I think that's really really good now if you're like a lot of agencies and you're struggling to put in place you're listening to all these videos but you're not doing anything about it which means you're running off your own motivation if you want to add accountability you want to add coaching you want to add a community that's going to incentivize you to put these things into place get in contact with us so just go to the lead machine system.com check it out there of what we can offer you but also more importantly get in contact with dennis at lead machine chat.com that will put you directly into dennis's diary and dennis i'm sure you'll be happy to go through the different options that people have if they're simply not getting results simply by learning um, and they're not implementing they want that extra accountability which we know is really crucial to to make sure that you get results Absolutely, Darren. We've got some great programs running at the moment that are putting good accountability into our clients that are getting great results. That's it. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you in the next video.